gentlemen in today's video we are going to be reacting to sam shamoon and god logic disintegrating the notion that jesus is muslim but before we get started my name is ronald aaron i help build young lost men into strong soldiers of christ through self-improvement and theology videos you're definitely interested in that because you're watching content like this one so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button to push this video out to more and more people to know more about the christian faith that being said let's dive straight into the video all right pious muslim how you doing man would you like to give it a try twenty two hundred dollars on the line you got twenty well, the funny thing is, bro, I actually came up here to talk about your other point, but you changed it after I had already requested. Well, hey, you know what? If, if, if you want to, if you want to touch on that, you're you're more than welcome, bro. Quran in the Bible. Go ahead. No, no, so you said that the Quran was missing in the Bible. That's that's what the Quran says, brother. It was. Okay, where? Hang on, give me a second, man, and I can prove that Jesus was oh. Muslim too. Oh yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let you. I'll let you stay as as much as as long as you want, brother. Did he? Need to submit his will to do the will of God. Which God? Oh, that's beautiful. The one true God. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah. The one he's from according to Jesus, he said the Father was the one true oh, God. Oh, say it again. According to Jesus, he said the Father okay, was now, the one true God. Okay, now can you show God. me in the Quran where it says Allah is the Father of Jesus? I didn't say he was. No, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't don't change the subject. Don't tempt it. You just no, said you Jesus said. So you're talking, talking over. Yeah, you, you just, just talk, said, Sam. you just Why? said, Jesus said. The Father is the only true God. So I want to show you show me in the Quran that Allah oh, no, is the Father. The Bible, show that to me. We're talking about the Bible, though. No, we're talking of Jesus as a Muslim. And if he's a Muslim, that means his belief about God will be the same as your belief about Allah in the Quran. So show me where it says Allah is the Father, especially the Father of Jesus. Very simple. I don't gotta go to my book when I can do it from yours. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me one second. He, he's not getting it. He's not getting uh, it. Start this. Are you there? Okay. Let's try this again. My Bible shows the only true God is the Father, which means all of the Quran is a false God. You're trying to prove that Jesus is a Muslim. When you went to Jesus saying the Father is the only true God, that means in my Bible, the God whom Jesus pointed to is the Father. Which means that all the Quran is Satan because he's not the father. So are you sure you want to stick with the Bible? Because you just destroyed Islam. I destroyed nothing. Okay, can you show me the Quran where Allah's the I don't father? know. I don't know what is not being understood at this point. Because if we're saying that Jesus is Muslim, that means that Islamic belief of God should be the same as Jesus' proclamations in the Bible. So if you were to then say that Jesus is Muslim, well then how could the God whom Jesus submits to is called the Father? But the Allah of the Quran, one of the names that was not revealed as the name of the Allah of the Quran is the Father. That's why if we are to become strong soldiers of Christ, strong physically, strong mentally, and having being renewed and changed by the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, we have to know who Jesus Christ is. Hint and note, it's not the Walmart dollar store version of Isa or Jesus Christ that is in the Quran. So, spoiler alert, it's the B Jesus of the Bible. And before anyone says, oh, well, well, where did Jesus claim to be God in the Bible? Um, John 8, 5, 8. So, <laughs> let's, let's keep going. Father of Jesus and your father. Then it'll be the same God. Show it to me. Go ahead. All right, one more time. When you quote the Bible where Jesus says the Father is only true God, that's proof that the Quran is a lie and he can't be a Muslim because you're trying to prove he's a Muslim. Let me repeat why. Because if the Father is only true God, and yet the Quran says Allah is not the Father, that means the Father that Jesus preached is not your Allah of the Quran. Allah is Satan. So I want you now to prove to me that the father that Jesus glorified in the Bible is your Allah of the Quran by showing me where Allah is your father and Jesus is father and the father of the Ummah. He can't. I'll make it simple for you. Did Allah create everything? No, he didn't. That's all our point. No, According no, to no, Jesus, no, Allah is no, a no, fake no, God. No, what are you not getting? No, Can no, you show me that Allah of the Quran is the God that Jesus came to do his will according to the Bible that you cited? I'm still waiting. No, because you asked me what you said the God of the Quran was false. I said, okay, in the Quran, it's God the creator of everything. Yes or no? 
He's not the father of Jesus, so he's a fake God. He created nothing. I, I didn't ask you about no, I'm answering you. No, he you didn't. Before. He didn't create anything because all of the Quran is a fake God. Yeah. Okay, then that don't make sense, bro. You make a logical argument. You asked me a full It actually what? makes perfect sense because you're trying to use my Bible to prove Jesus is a Muslim, and my Bible shows your Quran is a lie. So, so. All right, so, so, Pius, listen, Pius, listen. So, remember when you was like, um, you know, didn't Jesus submit his will to God? We asked you, yeah. which God? You said he submitted to the Father. The one true God. Right? Yeah, so the one true God is the Father, according to Jesus, right? That's fine. Okay. So, is, so now this is where Sam is, is like trying to, you know, have you focus on. When Jesus says that his Father, is the true God? Is Allah the father of Jesus? Not in the sense you're speaking of, no. What he said. Okay, not in the sense that you're speaking of. Okay, excellent. We're in the now. Here's a follow up question because that same father is the father of all believers in Jesus. So is Allah your father? He's the father of creation, yes. No, I don't want to ask you. And you went father against the Quran. The Quran says he's a father to no one. Is Allah your father? Father me, I say he's the father of creation. Give me the verse in the Quran where it says Allah is the father of all creation. Give me the ayah. Hang on. Spoiler. Now, guys, he said Jesus is a Muslim because he did the will of God. All right, let's see. You gotta... <laughs> Matthew 7, 21, 23. Listen to who this God is. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my father. The one who does the will of my father who is in heaven on that day many will say to me lord lord do we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do me and i will tell declare to them i never knew you depart from me you workers of lawlessness now i just want to make sure you caught it whoever does the will of my oh my, my brother i'm not done yet hold on the will of my father, my father. okay now what does jesus say in john 6 38 to 40 he tells us what the will is okay now john 6 38 to 40 watch here mm -hmm. for i have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Now, who is that? And this is the will of him who sent me. Can you listen at least to the verses so you can refute me? That I should lose nothing of all that he's given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my father. The will of my father. That everyone who looks on the son and believes in him should have eternal life. Now, raise him up on the last day. So, uh, the son... Now, my challenge is simple. Since the God that Jesus submits to no, no, is no, no, his no, no, father, no, no, no. is Allah what the what father of Jesus. What does John 17, 3 say? That, 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 that's that, even that, worse <laughs> for you. Okay, go to John 17. Okay, <laughs> That's going to be the janazah for the Quran. Hold on, you said John 17, right? Okay, now let's read verses 1 to 3. Okay, watch here. Guys, he went to John 17. You got you to do that. Cool. that was... John 17, 3, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand why people would want to quote from the book of John because it literally... The, the whole gospel of John is through the perspective that Jesus is God. If you were to quote Mark, then sure, like that's the first gospel. Then it's probably going to be all through the perspective of son of man. So highlighting his uh, flesh endeavors, his journey as a man on earth, God's journey as man on earth. So I don't know why people want to quote uh, John, one, to prove that Jesus is Muslim, but also two, the book of John literally highlights Jesus as God. So it's like, how are you going to? Okay. You know, we're going to read one and two, bro, because 17 doesn't begin in three, bro. Uh, Calm down. Don't run. When Jesus had spoken these words, John 17 verses one and three, we're going to read all three to five. He lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, he didn't say Allahumma, Father. The hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternally, eternal life to all whom you have given him. Now, verse 3. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Now, before he answers, in the context, who's the only true God? It looks like the Father sent. And Jesus Christ is who? The Son. That the Father glorifies? Yes. So now show me in your Quran where Allah is the Father of Jesus. And glorify Jesus. Give me the eye. We're waiting. Okay, so when I first came up here, I said the, the person you call the Father is the one true God, the creator of everything. And I, I then went on to say that in Aramaic, Jesus would have called God Elah, 
Uh, you know Aramaic is my mother tongue, right? I'm going to school you on Aramaic. Number one, my language is Aramaic. Now, let me educate you on how you try to pull a fast one on people because they don't know Aramaic. Okay, I'm going to speak Aramaic for you. I'm going to ask you to translate. I just spoke Aramaic. Did you have any idea what I just said? Okay. Alaha. Now, let me give you a little education in Assyrian. The word Allah is not Allah. Let me give you a little education about even your Arabic. Allah comes from two terms. El, Ilah. Ilah in Arabic is the cognate of Allah. When you want to say the God in Aramaic, you say Alaha. Alaha, the definite article is at the end. Allah is not Allah. Allah is Ilah. Well, like when you say La Ilah. But secondly, that Allah is the father of Jesus. So I'm going to ask you again. Show me from the Quran where so, your Allah is the father of Jesus. Give me the ayah. There is none. No, no, no. Again, I didn't mean that claim. Such a nice woman. Yeah, you're so, really wasting your time. Right. My point about... So are you going to prove that Jesus is Muslim or still waiting? So, so fly, look. So where, where you got in trouble with this is the first thing that you said was that Je you said, didn't Jesus submit his will to the father? So right there is where you got stuck because you're acknowledging that the father is the God of Jesus who he submits to. Oh, he ran away. Yep. So yeah, but one thing Muslims do me a favor. Ran away guys. Muslims. Got out of here. And that is it ladies and gentlemen for this video. Hopefully you have liked it. And if you have made it to this point of the video, then you obviously have. So you might as well hit that subscribe button and the like button, hit that notification bell. So you are notified anytime we upload a new video in order to push these types of contents out to more and more people to understand the truth about the Christian faith. That being said, of course, if you are going to comment, then make sure to keep it peaceful, cordial, and respectful in the comment section down below. You can follow me on my Instagram at the Ronell Aaron. And of course, please, I urge each and every one of you to join my brotherhood, my free discord community of Christians who are not only into theology, but also into self improvement and binding the two together. We have a lot of young Christians in there who are trying to quit bad habits, who are understanding and wanting to learn more about theology and so much more in this community. Click the top link in the description down below and I will see you all in there. That being said, it has been Renal Aaron. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.